Hey, what's going on, guys? We are back here at the tabletop, and for your viewing pleasure, we do indeed indubitably have some pleasurable things to view before you. And that's 1791 Gun Leather. Huge shout out to them for sending this stuff out for test and evaluation. It, it's very much so appreciated. Uh, being a smaller channel, stuff like this helps out a ton. And, uh, you know, my viewers and subscribers get to see gear that they may have not seen before. Or they actually get to see it used and tested because that's what we actually do here on this channel. We don't just get something in and give it a good review because you got it for free or you were paid or whatever. I wasn't paid at all. Um, full disclosure, but I was sent all of this out for free by 1791 Gun Leather. Very, very much so appreciated. There will be a link to them in my link tree as well as pinned in the comment section below if you guys want to check them out. And I advise that you do, especially if you've got nice revolvers, nice 1911s, okay? Um, they sent this holster out, obviously outside the waistband. Uh, I really like the embossing there. That's real good looking, uh, real quality looking stitching on there. I love the, like, the worn finish on it. Um, 1911s and revolvers deserve a nice leather holster, and uh, now I've got an excellent option to do just that with. Although, we're going to have to see how it holds up and all that, and I'm actually going to carry it. I'm not going to have, well, it's getting colder out, so I'll have more of a chance to carry this and actually try it out. I will tell you this, it is super duper stiff um, out of the box, as it were. Although it didn't come in a box, it came in this nifty little bag. Um, I forget what you call this, twine, tweed, this canvas, I don't know. Either way, it's like a potato sack, but... This is a cool little thing. It's very rustic, okay, and like handmade and, and homegrown kind of thing. And you could easily use this pouch for a million other things, you know, reduce, reuse, recycle type of shit. Um, you know, work with what you got. But anyway, we're working with this right now. Let's talk about this. So awesome, super awesome, beautiful, love it. It's super stiff out of, out of the box, though. Um, you could see the cowhide and it's molded. It's... I mean, it's hard. It's stiff. You can hear it flexing and stuff. It's got to break in, but that is denoting of a good uh, leather holster. That's that's how you know this stuff is good because it's got to be stiff because you're going to use it over the years and, and it's going to loosen up. It's going to break in. And so this is what they sent with it. This is what uh, they recommend as far as breaking. Uh, you know, throughout the years, I've had several different leather holsters that were just as stiff as this. And, you know, I've done it in different ways. Uh, you could just shove the gun in there and then leave it and it will naturally break in. You know, you got to sit it there for a few days, a week, whatever. But this is what uh, 1791 is recommending and it's their holster. So maybe it'd behoove you to listen to what they say. You guys can pause and read, pause and read. Um, it kind of gives you like the whole rundown of everything you're supposed to do. Obviously... Uh, with leather, you know, it, it, it can be abrasive, it can wear on the finish, but if you are carrying a gun, um, it's going to happen regardless, whether it's Kydex or leather. Leather tends to wear more evenly and all around, uh, where the Kydex, it, it typically wears on the points where it's clipped in or it's molded for that specific retention. So either way, um, you know, leather maybe won't wear as fast depending on the finish. Uh, there's different things you can do to protect that. For one, keeping it clean on the inside. If you get dust and dirt and debris on the inside of any holster, that's going to that's gonna rub your finish raw. But uh, just perfectly molded for a 5-inch 1911 here, the Wilson Combat ACP. And uh, it fits it perfectly flush right there. And that, that'll break in. It'll widen up a little bit. I love that. It's dirty. The gun's dirty, but that recessed 11 degree crown and the Wilson stamping half inch holes before it ever, ever even expands people, you know, two world wars, all that stuff. So if you want to bust out the jorts and the fresh new balance with the grass stain and, and rock this to the barbecue, uh, this would be the way to do it. Uh, again, nice 1911, nice revolver deserves a nice leather holster. And you know what you need to carry that beautiful gun in that beautiful holster, you need a matching leather gun belt. Again, love the embossing. Um, absolutely love it. This is their, their match set. Um, this is a newer style of finish that they're doing, to my understanding. And it's a nice, nice, thick leather gun belt. And you can see I'm holding it out and it doesn't droop and that's what you want in a gun belt okay that's a big two pound plus steel pistol and then you stuff it full of 45s and then you got the leather rig too 
this has to be able to hold it up and support it and it will it is thick enough it is sturdy enough um, I really like the the plain buckle design okay gets it out of the way you've got several adjustment holes which are stiff uh, these are gonna need some break into this is the thing with the handcrafted leather um, look inside here 1791 gun leather okay so I mean it's with the handcrafted stuff and the way that it's treated, the way that it's finished, there, there is going to be some breaking, and you want it to be stiff, okay? Because it's got to support. This is life support gear. If you are carrying a pistol, it starts with a solid gun belt. Not just a belt, a solid gun belt, okay? And obviously, you couldn't wear some tactical, you know, cobra buckle, nylon stuff with a nice classy leather holster. So you have to have the matching leather belt. And then we can go to boots and bolos and everywhere else from there but at least the belt and the holster needs to match um and then you can even have some cool little key fobs they do all types of leather work leather holsters for a wide variety of guns check them out again the link will be in the uh link tree as well as pinned in the comment section below and then what else we got okay so we got the 1911 we got the 1911 love it beautiful excellent little rig here we're going to carry it we're going to use it we're going to put some miles on it we're going to break her in um but Everybody complains about the capacity on, on the venerable, formidable 1911, chambered in 45 ACP, single stack, seven or eight rounds plus one with a flush fit mag. Well, obviously carry a reload. How are we going to do that? Snag mag, okay? You can literally snag your mag right out of your pocket, made in the USA, baby, that's beautiful. And this is basically like a pocket style holster that clips into your pocket and carries the mag you know it looks basically like a knife blade or a, a pen clip or something or whatever and, and it holds your mag and this will work for a wide variety of mags this one looks more geared towards a single stack style of magazine and uh you know it's for the right hand so obviously it's going to be carried yep right there 1911 eight round or a sig 220 it will accommodate i'm sure there's some other uh single stack variants uh, as far as the mags go for different guns that would work with this but they got the single stack and they also have a double stack option as well as leather pouches and, and different stuff so leather mag pouches whatever check them out but this is super cool because typically um i am lazy or for <laughs> or for concealability purposes i like to tell myself depending on how i'm dressed and plus i already got so much stuff in my pockets clipped to them and bolted onto them and all this that and the third if I'm running a spare mag or two, I usually toss them in the pocket. Same thing with a speed loader uh, for my wheel gun. But this will give me that option of like sticking it in the pocket and not wearing a pouch on the belt. Uh, because if they're inside the waistband, sometimes they could be uncomfortable. Although carrying a gun is supposed to be comforting, not comfortable. So watch me be a hypocrite. Um, but... You know, it's sometimes it is more if it's outside the waistband, it's, you know, it doesn't conceal as good. You're bending over, you're doing whatever. Regardless, um, throwing it in the pocket, but having it secure and indexed in the same place every single time so you could easily snag that mag. Cool idea. I like it. We're going to try this out, see how it works. And uh, I'm excited because you could rock just some nice blue jeans and, and this brown belt and some brown boots. And a little snag mag and walk around town baby uh guns and ammo in 2020 did give them the holster of the year so they have some clout they are out here doing it again american made stuff people uh 1791 gun leather here is their catalog you can find all this stuff um online that's a beautiful rig right there uh not a huge fan of the mag on the same side as the gun kind of thing but if you had to do an emergency one-handed reload that actually would be rather convenient and it's an extra place to carry extra ammo so who's complaining i guess me but not really um but all stuff all types of cool stuff um leather options affordable options more expensive options i uh, don't have the pricing at the very moment uh, for this, all that will be talked about in the actual review and update videos with this. Um, you know, we're going to try it on. We're going to, well, I've already tried it on. It does fit. Um, but we're going to, we're going to try it out and put some miles on it and see if it loosens up and it loses stiffness outside of the norm. Um, this holster, this holster is beautiful. I love it. It looks really good with the gun, I think. And I got a couple other slab sides I could stick in here. We'll see. Um, it'd be cool if I could get the freaking, after it loosened up, if I could maybe get the STI in here. That would be kind of cool. Um, 
but yeah, then I'll go shoot IDPA with it with like a, a fishing jacket on or whatever. Um, I guess I could do that with this too. And, and that actually might be the rig. If I end up shooting IDPA instead of USPSA one month or whatever, I'll, I'll freaking rock that dude. That's awesome. We'll get it all on film. It'll be super cool, but I appreciate you guys sticking around this long. If you have, and if you have talking about cool guns, cool gear, all that stuff, we got to protect what protects us, so make sure you check out the first three links in the description box below. Those are to help you fight for your God-given, inalienable, constitutionally reaffirmed and protected, but inherent by birth, gun rights, okay? And that's a great place to start. We need to do our own parts, people. Throw what money you can at FPC, GOA, uh, ISRA if you're out of Illinois specifically, and even if you're not, because we could use all the help we can get, I'll tell you that much. Uh, but do your part. Call. Right, participate, protest, civilly disobey, and realize the true intention of the Second Amendment and why it's so important. Uh, furthermore than that, if you do want to support the channel or you want to check out 1791 Gun Leather, then go ahead and do that again. They will be listed in my link tree always and pinned in the comment section below of this video. And that being said, subscribe if you haven't. If you already are, make sure you ring that notification bell because, I don't know, I post content all the time and doesn't seem like YouTube likes sharing it naturally, so do what you can, and I'll keep doing what I can, pr producing the best mediocre YouTube gun channel content on the net. <laughs> we'll catch you later, guys. Peace.